Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Go Fishing South Florida. Today I'm bringing you guys some bike fishing tips that I was asked on Instagram. Check this out. Okay, so he asked me a couple of questions about how do I rig up my bikes when I go fishing. Well, it's really simple to do, but at the same time, I get a little more complex with it. But first we uh, need to know, you guys need to get yourself a cooler backpack. That's the um, number one thing right there when you're bike fishing. You guys can keep your drinks in here, your food. You can even put your fish in here. All you need is a couple little ice blocks in there and you're good to go. And you can carry some tackle. This is a big must when you guys go bike fishing because without it, it just makes life a little bit more difficult, okay? Now, the second way I do my bike fishing is I use one of these carry carts for children that they use to ride on the, they attach it to the bike and the kids ride in the back while the parents ride the bike. Well, that's what I got right here. And um, basically what I did was take everything apart and I just kept a bare frame and I made um, a platform down here and added a cooler and a milk crate right here to carry extra stuff. Basically, that's my second step. That's when I'm doing longer trips, when I'm going out, you know, um, like a half mile to a mile out and I need to, I know I'm gonna bring home a bunch of fish. This is what I'm using. It lets me carry my, uh, you know, this, uh, my, my cast net, my bucket. I can even, and I have everything else in my backpack, my cooler backpack. So, I mean, this is like a big lifesaver when you, even with all this, you still need one of these to go with you. Now, the third way I got is this bike back here. Now this one, this bike is really simple. It has a milk crate attached to the frame and I use tent poles right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Tent poles is coming down, attached it. I have a double-sided cooler and I use it one side to carry my bait bucket. The other side is for my lunch, you know, uh, sodas or whatever. And again, with a cooler backpack. You have to have that cooler backpack or you're done for. Basically, that's about it. And um, let me show you guys something right quick. All right. I'll show you the back. Basically, right here, all I did was uh, attach a piece of wood to the cooler and added my rod holders. Now I can carry up to four rods, right? Now, this one here, like I was showing you earlier, has my uh, double-sided cooler right there. I can actually add two rods to this. Oh, let's see if I keep that bike stable. Oh, hold on. All right. Let's get this one. And basically, there it is. Hands free. Got my cooler. Again, with a cooler backpack, I can go anywhere on this bike. Real simple. Okay. Oh, everything wants to fall down on me today. All right. And basically, that's it right there. Let me show you how I did this with the milk crate. That way you guys get an idea. All right, right here I cut out a little V section. Right there I cut out a little square. Same thing on this side. And you see, if you notice how I attach the, the poles to the milk crate and how I attach it to the bike right there. That used to be where the reflector was, but now that's attached. And then I just added some rope up here for stability and it works out pretty good. It's pretty strong. Now for this thing here, it's pretty simple. Let's get this out the way. Give me one second, you guys. All right. Get all this out the way. So this is to show you how I rigged this up. This milk crate ain't going nowhere. I already got it zip tied all the way down. This used to be a frame for those uh, TVs. There goes my cooler. This used to be a frame for the TVs that you hang on the wall. Well, I attached it along both ends right here with a support beam. I added a piece of wood with a little clip right there. This right here was a curtain rod hanger piece. I used that to help uh, keep the uh, cooler from sliding out. And pretty much that's it. I added a bungee to keep my cooler tied down. And pretty much looks like that down there. Now. I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, you know, whatever, that's pretty cool. But you guys, I built this thing in like two hours because I needed it really fast. If you guys uh, check the link above, you guys can see what it used to look like before I did this. Now, another option you guys have, right? 
say with something like this, another option would be to put PVC pipe right here. Screw the PVC pipe into the into the bike itself, and you can have two rod holders coming out. Now you got four rod holders. You got two up front, and you can have two more in the back. Or you can add another milk crate like this and attach it to the back the same the same way I did that way, and you can have more space to carry stuff. Well, that's about it right there. This is my rig right now. I um, hope it helps you out, gives you uh, some ideas. I'm pretty sure um, you guys have come up with something better. And um, sorry about the old bikes. These old gals have been with me for about six years already. And I only use them four times a, a year. Four months out of the year, I mean. I mean, well, that's about it. Hope it helps you out. It gives you some ideas on how I rig up my bike for fishing. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Keep chasing wild. Let's go fishing.